John Urschel, former NFL player and lifelong Marvel fan. Now I'm a PhD student in mathematics at MIT and your very own Marvel University professor. We're going to put the Marvel Universe under the microscope and explore the real life science and technology behind your favorite Marvel comics, concepts, and characters. Welcome to Marvel University. Today's lesson, ants. These little guys are some of the most fascinating insects on the planet, thanks to their strength, intelligence, and complex social organization. And of course, ants are the inspiration for Ant-Man. Today we're at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Their world-renowned entomology collection dates back to 1913 and features nearly six million insect specimens. Their scientists conduct cutting-edge research on insect biodiversity. So let's hear what they have to say about the science of ants and Ant-Man. So in the comics, Ant-Man has a helmet that he uses to communicate to other superheroes and also to ants. How much of the Ant-Man comics truly shows up in real life, namely the communication from the helmet? I think the helmet is a really good illustration of how ants communicate. So with the helmet, you see a pair of antennae, mm -hmm. and it's using electrical signals. With ants, it's not electrical signals, it's chemicals, but they are using their antennae to detect those chemicals, which we call pheromones. And are pheromones used at all in sort of attack and defense? Oh yeah, absolutely. So pheromones are actually, it's this whole complicated communication that ants are doing with each other. Mm -hmm. So the pheromones can say many different things. Alarm pheromones are letting the other ants know that there's danger around, and it actually will change their behavior. Is there any truth to the actual Ant-Man costume that you know ties back to any characteristics of ants? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, when I look at the helmet, the mm -hmm. first thing I notice are these giant mandibles. So what is exactly a mandible? Well, a mandible is a mouth part on an insect. Mm -hmm. Not all insects have mandibles, but many do. Ants would be included in that list. Mm -hmm. You think about our jaw moving up and down. A yes. mandible is moving side to side. Very, very powerful, attached to a lot of musculature inside of the head. And they can use these mandibles, these mouth parts, for a variety of different functions. They move objects with those mandibles. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're collecting food, they're eating with those mandibles. But then the other thing, especially yeah. for soldier ants, is those mandibles will come into play for defense. One of the key things in some of the Ant-Man comics has been the strength that Ant-Man gets when he becomes a smaller scale. Animals like insects, the smaller they are, mm -hmm. the stronger they are relative to their size. And why is that? It has to do with the surface area to volume ratio. And the number that we toss around, I mean, there's different ways to measure it, mm -hmm. and it's varies from ant to ant, but yeah. the number that you usually get that I think is a pretty good number is about 100 times the weight. If I was like a 6'3 ant, being 300 yeah. pounds, I'd be able to carry 30,000 pounds. That's right. So that On my be, back. Yeah, so that would no be like deal. a small bus. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I do that every day. <laughs> Ants are smart, tough, resourceful, and underappreciated. They may not get the glory, but they always get the job done, just like Ant. -Man. That's it for today. Make sure you tune in for the next episode of Marvel University, right here on Marvel.com.